Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. Obasanjo has been throwing jabs at former president of Nigeria, just the way he said that he has always known that Buhari know nothing about economics and that was why his regime went the way it did. Now he has said that uh, he heard that Sinobu wanted to resurrect the refineries in Nigeria by December. He said that he doesn't think that is possible and that Tinubu should expand his energy on other things that can be successful. But as for the refineries, those are not possible. That is not possible because based off of uh, information he got while he was the president of a country from Shell, he knows that refineries cannot work unless it is being given to the private but under government no way now tinobu has responded in a very fiery way in fact what he said to obasanjo you would not believe it we'll go into all of that in a minute but before we do that if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. You know how we do it up here. I respond to all of my comments, so let's meet in the comment section below. Without further ado, guys, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Keep quiet. You are not an engineer. Tinubu replies Obasanjo on Potakot refinery. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has chowdered ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo over his comments on the petroleum refinery in Potakot River State. In a recent interview with The Cable, Obasanjo had emphasized his belief that the nation's refineries would never function efficiently as long as they remained under government ownership. Someone told me, Tenobo said refineries would work by December. I told the person the refineries would not work. This is based on the information I received from Shell when I was president, he had said. But responding through Tokpe Ajayi is senior special assistant on media and publicity, Tinubu said Obasanjo is not an engineer, therefore, he shouldn't make such comments. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo, with due respect to him, is not an engineer, is not the engineer working at the refineries. So the engineers and the NNPC gave the president a report and they have said that it will work by December this year. He had said while speaking on Daily Trust Space, seemed analyzing the first 100 days of President Tinubu. We still have like four months to go. I would say that, with all due respect to the former president, who is an elder statesman and our father, that what he said is his personal opinion and view. I would rather rely on the judgment of the engineers who are working at the refinery so i think we should wait until december in august president tinobu had said the petroleum refinery in portacot will start production by december 2023 after the completion of the ongoing rehabilitation contract between the national pardon me between the nigerian national petroleum company limited nmpc hell an Italian firm, Marel Technimot Spa. The resuscitation of a refinery, if completed as promised by Tinobu, will lessen Nigerians' 
reliance on oil importation and dependence on foreign refineries, NMPCL said it was been it has been working to revamp the refineries, which were shut down entirely in 2021, and produced little or no fuel over the past decade. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. What do you all think about all of this? Are you in support of Obasanjo who said that none of these refineries can be re resurrected? That all efforts put towards these refineries, as long as it's still under the government, is not going to be successful. It cannot work unless these refineries are privately owned. Or are you in support of Tinubu who said that these refineries will start working by December? You know, judging from the past, judging from my experiences of the past, where we've seen, you know, government pumping millions of dollars in these refineries just to, you know, resurrect these refineries. And what happened? It's either the refineries are just producing little or no petrol at all, or it's just, it's just you know, what, uh, it's just under producing petrol, you know? And some people in some quarters believe that what the government should have done is to build another refinery from scratch. What do you guys think? Is it that building refineries from scratch or resuscitating the ones we now have? Which part are you on? Or is it that you it should be under the still be under the government or it should be privately owned? Which 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 side are you on? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Before we go, my people, let's take a look at a few reactions we got online. Tony Bez says, Obasanjo is a certified military engineer. Compared to you who have no single educational background, holding Nigeria as a country in ransom with acts of criminality. Another person, Maxwell Casey says, Obasanjo is a certified engineer, not like Bola Med, whose certificates cannot be authenticated. Lastly, another person says, don't forget Obasanjo is an engineer, former head of state, former president, he has seen it all. You are just 100 days in office and you want to compare with someone that has been there for 11 years. I'm very sure that, you know, the information Obasanjo got for, from Shell, you know, might have given him some certain insights into why these refineries cannot be resurrected and you know what are, and the reason why these refineries have been failing over the years you know considering the fact that in the past like i said the government has spent a lot of money in you know resurrecting these refineries and it's that it's it's they've lost they've lost all the millions and billions of dollars you know spent on these refineries let me have your thoughts in the comment section, my people. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. Guys, I will see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye for now.